What are we looking at today? Well, not John Carter. I am fucking sorry. I was going, I was watching it. But seven minutes in, the entire DVD just fucking froze on me. I'm not joking. Seven fucking minutes in, the DVD froze on me. I couldn't do anything about it. So, yeah. Here we are, I'm at British Trek. And yeah. Wait, world, wait, world. Yeah, let's go. Now that it's based on a TV series that was on years ago, but we're not talking about TV series. We're going to talk about the film. Uh, so yeah. So we begin the, f the film begins off with with some with some guy watching. He ends up watching a scene from well the public act, the new public, the big popular public access show, Wings. So yeah, he find he thinks it's pretty good. We see what Wayne's life is like, and he seems to be pretty popular around the area. We then find out that uh, give me one second. Piece of crap. Anyway, um, so uh, yeah. So one night he meets a rock star chick who turns out to be a pretty popular who Wayne falls in love with. Oh, that bull crap. I'm sorry, but I'm not a believer in love. I don't believe in shit. That's right, I think it's shit. A load of bull. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah. So, uh, where were we? Oh, yeah. So, yeah, so, you end up later on. Find out that. that he has to want to go out, but she's a little busy, so you have to go somewhere else. Um, also, yeah, we the story most balls on Wayne and pretty much his friend uh, Gaff. Yeah, that's it. Sorry. Anyway, so yeah, later on they get to see the guy. They get the contract, and uh, yeah. So yeah. Later on, he is able to get a date with the girl, and the, the pilot kind of fucks up, but then, after a lot of weird shit happens, it barely has to do with anything, uh, they later on fine. The girlfriend's about to get a beer, pretty much, beer. Uh, yeah, so they found out they have to talk a bit about Noah's Arcade, which is a company that is sponsoring them. They found out they have to do that shit, you know. I don't know why. Um, I don't want to do that face. <laughs> what the fuck am I doing? Um. <laughs> I'm just not doing that far because I'm a fucking twat. That's why, you bastard. Fuck off, mate. I, I, I don't want to. Fuck off. Yeah. Fuck off. You want. Okay. Anyway, so he goes off on a so yeah, 
to be filmed the first episode and he just makes it to the book out the earth at the main earth. Tries to them and he ends up fucking up a bit. Uh, and he gets a show. He quits the show and kind of they own the show, so we can never get it back. So he may have a fight over the person who gave him the contract. May have been a may have maybe in love with Wayne's girlfriend. Wayne. He'll have another fight over it, over this, and pretty much he's able to get back with his mate. And he try and bring, he try and get back, uh, try and get her back. Do end up doing this, but on the way, on the way while Wayne's trying to do this, he finds that there's a big uh, guy coming into town who can try and get her a contract. Um, it's a weird part of the film, uh, you guys have to watch it yourself. So okay, it's hard to explain it. So anyway, so there's a funny scene in which he gets stopped by a policeman who turns out to be the guy from uh, Terminator Two. <laughs> <laughs> Has a picture of John Connor. Goes, Do you know who this kid is? Has <laughs> a fucking Wayne's face. You know, like, this <laughs> freaking drives off. <laughs> <laughs> like I made so many fucking cameos in films after after he did uh, after he did this, he made a shitload of cameos. Uh, cameo, cameo, shut up. Secret broadcast, try and get her back in, but it turns out it's too late. It turns out that he that she's not ready for business, and so she fucking breaks up with Wayne again. Every fucked up for Wayne. His mate dies, and it all ends hap unhappily ever after. But they weren't going to end you like that, so they altered time. And they make the Scooby Doo ending. And then they make the ultra happy ending. In which everybody wins. Nobody has to die. No, nobody has to go through misery. Nobody has to go for any shit. So, what's the lesson of this film, kids? I mean, the very final scene is just. Then it's just the ultra happy ending. The fur I'm not joking. It ends on the ultra happy ending scene. I am not joking. Except for the end titles, which is pretty much just them say goodbye and then next thing you know they just disappear the blackness and the and the gaff are like, that's not cool on them. Well, I told you told you told there you go. Anyway, this film was weird. It was funny, yeah, but it's weird. I'm not gonna lie, this film was very weird. That's what it's a strange, I tell you, child. <laughs> I don't know why I keep doing that. So, what do you help me? Anyway, so yeah. I was actually surprised that. I'm sorry, but I, if I had to. I don't do the fun thing like that. To me, it's either that or that. Or that. It kind of was like this. It kind of was like this. Yeah. Yeah. And then the worst of all, yeah. there was the ultra worst. No one has to see that. Nobody has to see what that is. Anyway, so uh, yeah. 
So, I think the product the the only that's the late the late critics. Uh, I can't remember their first name, so I'm just gonna call them from what their tr double when they were do when they were a double act. <laughs> uh, Siegel and Ebert uh, gave it both of them gave this film thumbs up. I was actually surprised. I would give it at least a duh. Maybe a bit of a not a there though. Just a that's that's all it was, okay? Now if you excuse me, I have to Pass them. Right now. Kill your wife. Anyway, so oh yeah, let me talk about a few things. Then. Okay, uh, there's an ongoing sketch in which uh, his girlfriend keeps on like attack. He's on like uh, trying to get back up with him. And then there's one scene where you never see like the one a donut shot where it gets him a thing for a gun rack, though he never carries guns. Includes a scene where he tries making out with somebody else and trying to get way jealous, and she ends up falling through the glass window, glass window near the top. Oh, look! In a one scene that can only be titled as this. I see London. I see France. Like I said, I'll just run the bats. <laughs> Wait, that was our fault. What the hell? Then I get Tom Thompson to write a joke anyway. Well, I had a few plans. One thing, uh, did you, well, he's kind of dead. Yep. I kind of cut his head open. No, I don't think he's actually dead. Anyway, I did this so I could still ability, so I can do the creepy Halloween free scene and the witch bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? You're annoying. Fuck you. Bow tiger! No! Please! No! 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 The battle tiger fun! I am the maniac. It's kind of dying on the floor as we speak. No, I'm a British critic. Um, I will try and get John Cabins to work, but I can't promise anything. As far as I know, that's a John Carpenter, or that she. It's John Carter anyway. If if I accidentally said John Carpenter, I I apologize. How was I not meant to get that up? Two movies. One movie named after a film director. How was I not meant to get that confused?